Well, guys, welcome to step two for today for reading. And we are now looking at the vocabulary words, uh, the important words that I want to make sure that you totally understand um, as we move into our uh, articles that we'll be reading. So let's take a look at these. There's eight of them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, but I think some of these you're going to already know. So, but let's take a look at them. We're going to take a look at accidental. Okay, say it out loud with me. Ready, go. Accidental. All right, let's take a look at what this word means, all right? So, a really cool little video for you. Accidental. Something that is accidental happens for no apparent reason and is unexpected. All right, poor Jason. Oh, he felt bad about this accidental mess he made on the driveway. Do you think about what accidental might mean to you? Pause this video. Think of how you would tell somebody uh, what accidental means. All right. Well, something that is accidental happens for no apparent reason. Um, it's unexpected. It's not planned. Okay. So Jason felt bad about the accidental mess he made on the driveway. He, he didn't intend for that to happen. It was unexpected. Right, now let's go back to home base here. And now we're going to take a look at the word careless. Say it with me. Careless. They're so good at this. All right. Uh-oh. What do we see here? Context clues, milk bot, milk ca uh, carton, glass, horizontal, not vertical, bunch of milk on the table. He's looking guilty. His name must be Harry. Let's read it together. Harry was careless and not paying attention when he spilled his milk. Uh-oh. When someone is careless, he or she is not paying attention. I'm sure that's never happened to you before, right? <laughs> okay, I want you to think of some something. What is the opposite of careless? Think about that. Give me a word that means the opposite of careless. All right, tell me, what is it? Boy, I wish I could hear you. I'm hoping what you said was careful. <laughs> Here we have less. If you put less after a word, that means you're without care. Without. And if you put full after it, careful, that means you're full of care, right? It's the exact opposite. You guys are so smart. Now the next one, disasters. Say it with me. Disasters. Say it again. I didn't hear you. Disasters. There you go. That was better. Ooh, there is something. Let's take a look at that. It's a tornado. These are houses down here. Look how big that thing is compared to the houses. Tornadoes and other natural disasters often cause a lot of damage. Yikes. Okay. Disasters are sudden misfortunes. Something that suddenly happens, unexpected, that causes major, major, major damage. Okay, um, what are some other natural disasters that you might have heard about? Something else that would have caused major disaster, major damage. Think about it. I'll give you a second. Three, two, one. Tell me as many as you can right now. Go, 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 go. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Hurricanes. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Earthquakes. Good job. Ooh, multi-car pile-ups on the freeway. Horrible things. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard you. COVID-19. I'd say that's a pretty disaster, too, isn't it? Boy, you came up with a bunch of stuff. Way to go. Let's keep moving on, then. Okay, the next one. Equipment. Say it with me. Equipment. Say it. Equipment. Let's find out what equipment means. Equipment. Oh, wow. Hey, this looks like my son's stuff, Patrick. He is He's officially at the, at the fire academy right now for Cal Fire. And this is exactly what he puts on. 
Let's see. It says firefighters wear special equipment to fight fires. Ah, equipment. Those are the tools needed for a job. And in this case, for firefighters, their equipment would be a helmet and the special types of uh, clothing that they wear to help keep them from burning up. Um, so that would be the special type of equipment for there. I want, you to think, I want you to think about maybe some equipment you might need if you're on a, um, a football team, uh, if you're on a soccer team. What kind of equipment would be required? Maybe a baseball team. Okay, tell me about that. Oh, you're going to tell me about football? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yep, yep, you need a helmet for football, correct. Yeah. Oh, pads. Yeah, you're right. Yep, uh, cleats. Oh, yeah, I heard you too. Yeah, I know. You wear cleats for baseball also. Oh, also for soccer. Yep, you're right. That's the equipment. You need the equipment for that stuff. Let's keep moving on, guys. All right, harmful. Everybody say harmful. Yeah, hey, oh, there's that, that suffix, full. It means it's full of harm. So let's take a look at that. Harmful. Why would that be harmful? Because harmful means something that causes harm or hurt. How could a plant, a poor little plant, cause you so much hurt? Oh, let's read it. Poison ivy leaves. Or we could say poison oak too, right? may be harmful to your skin if you are allergic to them. And most human beings are. <laughs> there are a few that aren't. It's pretty amazing. There are a few people that do not get an allergic reaction to poison ivy or poison oak. But that's very few. But we could say poison ivy or poison oak is harmful. What other things might be harmful to you? Think for a moment, and then I want you to give me two things that are harmful to you. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, yell it out. Yell it out. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, bleach could be very harmful to you if you if you uh, ingest it, if you drank it. That'd be very bad. That'd be very harmful. You're right. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, yeah. A loaded gun, extremely harmful. Very harmful. Oh, knives. Yes, knives could be very harmful if they're not used properly. Wow, you guys are doing a great job. Okay, let's uh, let's keep moving then. You know what harmful means. Now let's take a look at this one. This is a big one. And I want you to focus on the last four letters, T-I-O-N. Okay? When you see T-I-O-N at the end of a word, that pronounced that is pronounced shun. Everybody say shun. Very good. So here we have, I'm going to cover that up, and I've got prevent prevent. But then they have the T-I-O-N. They've kind of blended it together. So we would say prevention. Prevention. Say it again. Prevention. All right, let's take a look at what does prevention mean? Well, looks like this gentleman named Dave. What a great name. Dave, well, he's teaching Fran and Juan about fire prevention. Huh. Fire prevention. Teaching, why would you want to be taught about fire unless prevention means stopping something from happening? Ah, education helps inform your mind about potential harmful things. And if you want to stop it before it happens, you would, you would say you would want to put into some prevention. So Dave is teaching Fran and Juan about fire prevention. Stop from fire from happening. Very good. All right. You know what? We're just going to keep moving. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. The next word is purpose. Looks like purpose, right? Purpose, but it's pronounced purpose. 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 Let's see what that means. Oh, we've got ourselves a video. Oops, i got to turn the volume down. Otherwise, you get double. Here we go. Purpose. A purpose is the reason something is done. Ah, okay. All right. Looks like uh, looks like Jay enjoys playing ice hockey. I know someone in this class who enjoys ice hockey. Might be by the name of Ben. 
And, um, and then of course, with this, the helmet, the purpose of the helmet, or we could say the reason something is done, okay? The purpose means the reason something is done. The reason why he wears a helmet is to protect his head. Makes sense. Um, what purpose or what's the reason for the gloves then? Oh, hold on. Ben answered before all of you guys. Ben said it was to protect his hands and his fingers. Do you all agree? Okay, good. You gave him? Okay, good. All right, you all agree. So the purpose means the reason to do something, okay? All right, and we're almost done here, guys. We've got one more. I know you've never heard of this word before. Respond. Spell that. I mean, no, not spell it. Say it. Respond. One more time. Respond. Very good. Oh, we have our another video. Yay. I got to turn the volume down so you don't get double. Here we go. Respond. To respond oh, is oh, to oh, react. Killer. Look at that. Ambulance. So it's important for this ambulance to respond quickly to an emergency. Respond. That means react. To, to get there, right? So we could just replace it with react. It's important for this ambulance to react quickly to an emergency. When you respond to something, you're reacting to it. Okay. Why do you think it's important to respond quickly to an emergency? Think about that. Why is it important to respond quickly in an emergency? Okay, yes, Ashlyn, I'll take you. Yep, it's important, man, because it could be a life on the line, right? Might lose, someone's lose, lose their life. So yes, very good. Respond quickly. All right, so we are done with this now, guys. Now here's what I want you, want, what I want you to do. You're gonna go back to the Google Classroom and you're going to see, I have a Google slide there for you, where you have your word bank of all the vocabulary words. And then you have some sentences down below or definitions and you wanna match those words up to their definitions, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. So you just type that in and then you uh, send that back to me. Thanks a lot, guys.